start with uh, the SSD from Kingston, which is an internal SSD, uh, which is my C drive here today. And with AJA video systems, let's see what the speed is. So I'm hitting the start button, and then the write speed is around 4.5, and then it's 4.89 on the read speed which is MB per second and now let us test with an external hard disk which is not an SSD it is a normal uh, Toshi sorry Seagate uh, 500 GB expansion portable drive so let us see what the speed weights these are mechanical drives so uh, let us see what the speed is Now I have with me a 1TB SS Seagate expansion drive. Let's go with the speed test right away. This is a mechanical hard drive. And you can speed, see the speed difference. It's just it's just 25% of the speed of uh, the internal SSD by Kingston. That's it. Let's go for the speed test. Sorry, the target disk wasn't selected. So it's D5. Let's go begin. It's quite surprising for me now. Uh, the speed of the portable SSD is not that fast let's do this again and the write speed is just 168 but the read speed is pretty good it's 309 and <laughs> I did not expect this uh, result from this maybe we should give a try on the Now I have a similar micro SD card which is a Samsung Evo 64 gigabytes. Let's go. Okay, poor, poor stuff. And I think this is mainly because of uh, the card reader. Uh, I would do a speed test of this directly by connecting it to my Surface Pro 7. It has a micro SD slot. Well, we will do that uh, with that maybe sure. They do that with that. But I cannot do the same with the uh, SDHC because there's no slot for that. And also uh, the Samsung T5 on uh, a USB 2.0, sorry, on a USB C. Just so speeds are similar, AJ system test. And again, I'm gonna read speed is gonna be just 90 MB per second. We'll stop in a bot. 